there's a house on the beach A great place for the party In a house on the beach We'll go all night long There'll be music playing and bodies swaying And not another house in sight It's only two steps down to the nearest wave And the surf's up every night oh, There's a house on the beach A witch and kind of a place From a house on the beach You can orbit into outer space When the birds start flying You'll start trying to spread your wings like a dove Cause the house on the beach Yeah, the house on the beach Is the kind of house you love Kid in the green sweater? Oh no! Bigger than a bread box. Wait a minute! What are you doing? The swim. Come on. Well, then do it outside and take your friends with you. This is my house. I don't know who you are, doll, but this house belongs to Skipper Sullivan. And for your information, he happens to be a very good friend of my father's. Well, that doesn't give you any right to trespass on his property. Who's trespassing? The Skipper's letting me stay here while I go to school. Captain Sullivan's dead. I'm his niece, Lee Sullivan, and he's left this house to me. The old man is dead? Hey, the party's over. Well, what happened to him? Oh, he was killed in a private plane crash in Peru. Sorry. Everybody out. I'll see you on the beach. That goes for you too, Charlie. The name's Adam, and I'm staying. You can't throw us out. He's got a gentleman's agreement with the skipper. In writing? You claim this place is yours. Do you have the deed? 
Well, no, but I will have as soon as the will's probated. Then we have just as much right here as you have. Look, I'm turning this into a girl's guest house. Now, I have to get an off-campus housing permit from the college. I can't do that with boys and girls living in the same house. Why not? You take one half and we'll take the other. Thanks, but no thanks. Now, would you mind? Look, well, you wait a minute, lady. You, you just can't, can't throw us out of here. Quiet. Lady. Everybody knock it off. You can't do this to us. There isn't a room in town or a bed in a dorm. Why school so jammed this year they're hanging from the rafters like that? And that's why I let the boys move in with me this year. Look, we're not doing this for kicks. We know how rough it is. It's last year Toby had to go to J.C. because you couldn't get in. Well, it's worse this year. Let me handle it, Vern. Look, there's nothing to handle. Now, go over to the college and they'll find you some place to stay. That's their job. Yes, sir, I congratulate the board on its decision. I can tell you there isn't room for another student in town. Those housing riots and sleep-ins we had last year. Yes, sir, I know. I appreciate your confidence, but you can hardly hold me responsible for... So you can see it's not my fault. Yes, sir? Well, I'm sorry the board takes that attitude. Yes, sir. Goodbye. Operator, get me the airport. Hello, airport. This is Dean Leroy Parker. I want to report a jet flying over the college. How do I know what it was? My office isn't on the roof. Call the Air Force. Look here. For your information, the Air Force told me if I called one more time, they'd reactivate my reserve commission. With the Pacific Ocean next door, why do you people have to fly over the classrooms? This morning, the sky was so full of planes, the seagulls were walking. Likewise, I'm sure. Oh! Operator. When I want you, I'll call you. Williger, where have you been? They said you wanted to see me, Chief. The board has just passed a new resolution. For the time being, any student who doesn't have housing will have to transfer to another state university, or wherever he can get in. The school doesn't start for two weeks. Well, I know that. Give us a little more time. Now, I've told the office that no new applications for off-campus housing will be accepted until Friday. I want you to process any applications you have pending, but don't issue the permanent permits. I just got one. A guy named Adam Miller down at the beach. All right, we'll get down there and have a look at it. I was just leaving. And Mort, I want a heads-up job. Now, the board's put me on notice. No more sleep-ins, no more demonstrations. Do you know what that means to you? Yeah, if you fudge it up, then I get busted. I got you out of the physical ed department. It's up to you to stay out. <coughs> you know I gave up smoking. Yeah, but you don't. All right, never mind that. Now you get going. And Mort, you blow this one, and it's back to the water buckets. I'd love to help you, Adam, but I've got too much to lose. What do you have to lose that the rest of us don't? Last year, I worked in a department store because I couldn't afford to go to college. The only reason I'm here now is because this guest house is going to pay my way through. Look, Lee... Adam, you're a good salesman, but you haven't got the merchandise. And if anything keeps me from getting this permit, why, we'll be back to men's underwear. When do you plan on applying? This afternoon. I'm sorry I'm putting you out of your room. It's all right, Toby. I don't mind sleeping on the floor. Oh, Lee will never go for it. You don't know Adam. You don't know Lee. Are all these yours? Mm, you must love music. I'm tone deaf. I collect sounds. What kind of sounds? Well, to make some noise, I've got it on tape. 
Whistles, cars, boats, traffic. Ooh, I'd like to hear them sometime. You're putting me on. No, I'm not, really. I've been listening to sounds ever since I can remember. Well, everybody thinks I'm a little dingy. Hey, I got a lot more stuff in the rumpus room. Would you like to see it? Great. What's your major, drama? Home economics. You in a kitchen? What's the matter with that? I love to cook. We were made for each other, doll. I love to eat. I'm thrilled. Let me help you with that. You can help me by getting some of your junk out of here. What junk? This junk. Well, this one is for here. And the second one pipes sound into every room in the house. And the bottom one is for the outside speakers. Well, what kind of sound? Well, what kind do you want? Uh, I mean, uh, what do you uh, use it for? My hobby. Oh. Here, here, listen to this. I used to come down here when I was a little girl. It's really changed. Lee. Turn that thing off. We better get out of here. Vern's got the whole house wired. He's a sound nut. Lee, at least give us a chance to find a place to stay. Adam, I told you. Look, you're going to the permit office. They won't inspect until tomorrow. What harm would it do to let us stay tonight? We'll split the house in half. If I do, will you promise to leave tomorrow morning? In writing, if you want. All right. But just for tonight. Thank you. Do you know what a permit office is? Yes. I won't have any trouble. Hey, where's she going? To the permit office. Oh, does she know that you've already applied? If she did, she wouldn't be going down there. That's kind of a raunchy trick, isn't it? Look, nice guys sleep on a beach. The inspector's coming out here this afternoon. If I get the permit first, we don't have to move. Are you going to help me or not? Yeah, I guess so. All right. You and Vern get the two chicks out of here before the inspector shows. But the room is full of their stuff. I'll take care of that. You just get them out of here. That's right. My name's Mort Terwilliger. I got a housing application here. Oh, I've been waiting for you, Mr. Terwilliger. Come on in.
I guess I better give Alice a call, huh? Hey, aren't those the astronauts? Oh, sit down, sit down, stay. Yeah. Big shoes. Big shoes. Red dress. Red dress. Long black stockings, oh. Yes, 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 we're going out. Going out. Well, the stars are bright. We're going to rock the world tonight. Two arms. Two arms. Two lips. Two lips. She's going to thrill me to my fingertips. She's something else. Something else. What's that? It ain't no hammock. Now, who's got this room? I want his name. Several guys moved in today. I'm not sure which took which. He's a 36C. That ought to make him stand out in your mind. Some girls were staying here the early part of the summer. It's probably left over from them. You're sure none of the girls were left over? Sure, I'm sure. Let's take a look at the next room. I'll turn this into lost and found. Why not try <laughs> missing persons? Do you want to go in the living room? I'll take it in here. Hello. still here. I don't know yet. You'd better keep them there a while. Permit? 
But you haven't signed it. Right here, Mr. Twilliger. Thank you. Thank you. And now, here's Sonny and Cher. Friday. So this is where the storm came from. Show me how it works. Wait till the number's over. think of it, Cindy? Looks like someone hung their junkyard out to dry. Junk? Oh, well, of course, this is just a working model. You're looking at the finest echo chamber the recording industry has ever seen. Is this your idea? Well, this is my invention, kitten. All it takes is a little guts, imaginations, and some good old American know-how. <laughs> it figures. Oh, no, no, honey, uh, not in the mic. Uh, over here, in the there. You get twice the volume. You mean, I sing into this gutter? That's right. And then what? Well, then your voice reverbs against what I call the Kirby panel here. Named after Shepard Kirby, no doubt. Uh, you guessed it. And then your voice goes through the enlarger, and into the chamber, and back out of the chamber into the mic, and then into the tape, and it'll revolutionize recording. You can sound like one voice, or you can sound like a hundred voices. It'll do away with groups. Do away with choruses. And the echo, uh, like the Grand Canyon. Now, hearing is believing. Let's try a tape. Oh, and there's just one thing you've got to promise me. Don't say a word about this to anybody. Not until my patents come through. Right? If you won't, I won't. Uh, uh. <laughs> Cindy? 
Send him alone. Take one. Go, go, girl. Run, run away from him before you lose your way. Run, run away from him. You've heard what people say about him. You know he's the kind that's sure to take you by the hand. And he will make you fall in love with him. And then he's gone. So run, run away from him before you Run away from him. You know he'll break your heart and laugh at your tears as he throws away the pieces, just as he did mine. So run, run away from him while there's still time. Run away, run away from him. Wow! Ah, oh, honey, it's great. We're a smash. However, one more time. Take two. Run away from him before you lose your way. Run, run away from him. You've heard what people say about him. You know he's the kind that should to take you by the hand. And he will make you fall. the industry? Oh, that's the racket outside, Kitten. This is a great song. It sounds like Frankenstein's mating call. You're the biggest phony I ever met. You never were in the record business. Not in the business. I got the first record I ever made. Look at this. I uh, just had a few reverses, Kitten. You've been in reverse all your life. Oh, no, no, not that door. Oh, now, baby. Don't walk out on me. It was a record you were going to make. Remember? Operator, get me the nearest police station. Right away. What are you trying to do, bring the whole neighborhood down on us? Don't look at me. Your friend Marcy's been playing with Vern's rig. How'd you make out on a permit? Oh, I didn't. 
They won't even take an application until Friday. Well, don't worry about it. I got one. You got one? What right have you got to take a permit out on my house? It isn't your house until you get the deed. That's only a technicality. Any old technicality in a storm. And baby, it's cold outside. Did you see this afternoon's paper? There's a statement in there from the Board of Trustees. Any student who can't find a place to live has got to find himself another college. Why, you... you... Don't worry your pretty little head. We're letting you girls stay on. You are the lowest of the low. I just try to do the best I can. Well, this time it's not enough. I'm going back to the permit office. Go ahead. You can explain the whole situation to them. You can call it, I was a teenage chaperone. Look, why don't you make the best of it? We'll sleep in here. You girls can sleep in a bedroom. What could be fairer than that? You want me to tell you? Answer it, then, Mother. Yes, officer? Are you the owner here? Yes, I am. Your name, please. Lee Sullivan. Miss or Mrs.? Miss. What's the matter? One of your neighbors has filed a complaint against you. You'll be notified when and where to appear. Well, what kind of complaint? Disturbing the peace, wild parties. Oh, that's ridiculous. There haven't been any wild parties here. You'll have a chance to explain in court, miss. Well, may I ask who filed the complaint? Your new neighbor. It's all on there. Shepard Kirby's his name. Well, who's he? They tell me he's lecturing at the college this year. <laughs> side. Marcy, you get in the hall. All right, now here's the setup. When the lights go out at night, this goes up. We sleep in there, you sleep in the bedrooms. In between, the iron curtain. Now, anyone of either sex who crosses it before breakfast, out. What if someone walks in their sleep? Just keep right on walking. Nobody crosses the iron curtain. That's the deal I made with Lee. Me, Chief. Did you issue this temporary permit? Yeah. Well, you told me to go down there. Did you know that a girl tried to apply for a guest house permit at the same address yesterday? What girl? I don't know what girl. My secretary didn't get her name. She just told her we weren't accepting applications until Friday. Then we're okay. We're not okay if boys and girls are living in the same guest house. <laughs> Nothing but boys, I see. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you find anything suspicious? Nothing at all? Well? What's this? Well, it ain't a saddle blanket for a camel. I know that, you idiot. Where did you find it? It was on the floor, one of the kids' closets. Aha! Hanky panky. They said it was left over from last summer. Today's leftover is yesterday's main dish. I want you to conduct the investigation. See what's going on. And for once, keep it quiet. Is anything out of line? We'll expel them before school opens. Now, here's what I want you to do. Take all the time you want. Try and keep undercover. Please get me Cranford Air Base. That's a jet fighter. 
They can't fool an old bombardier. Keep bugging the Air Force, they're gonna zero in on you, Chief. They'll never take me back. Not at my age. Thank you. Cranford Air Base, this is Dean Leroy Parker. Give me the CO. Well, go on. Don't just stand there. Get cracking. Hello, Major. I want to report one of your jets flying over our college. Major? Major? Why, that miserable... This is Lieutenant Colonel Leroy Parker. Let me speak to General Coleman. Thank you. Uh, my name is Lee... Uh, my name is Lee Sullivan. Uh, Chef Kirby. Oh, uh, excuse me. Have to be careful of dilution. I was just having my lunch. Would you care to join me? Uh, no, thank you. I'm on a diet. No olives. Now, what can I do for you? Well, there's been a complaint filed against me. Well, as of now, the complaint department is closed. Well, it's about the noise last night. Last night? Oh, you're too modest. Do you know what that racket last night cost me? Just a hit record at the top of the charts, that's all. As a matter of fact, you put me out of business. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Kirby. That little session here yesterday was my last chance to get back in the big time. Well, I, I thought you were a professor at the college. Oh, that's just a lecture course in popular music. Oh, you're a musician. Among other things. Singer, songwriter, record company. Fanfare is the name of my outfit. Was the name. We went broke. They took everything but the clothes I'm wearing and the only tape recorder in the world that's tone deaf. Well, we're really very sorry about the noise, and Vern's taking all of his tape recorders out of the house tomorrow. All of his tape recorders? Mm-hmm. And we'll be so quiet over there, you won't even know we're there. If you'll just cancel the complaint. How many's he got? How many? Tape recorders. Oh, well, a whole room full. You see, if the college finds out there's been a complaint made... Well, why, why don't we go over and have a look at this stuff? The stuff? Uh, tape recorders. Oh. Well, um, uh, I'd love to show you. Why didn't you come over in about a half an hour? Well, what's the matter with right now? If I'm going to teach, I should get familiar with how the students uh, <laughs> live, right? <sighs> well, this is a real professional layout you've got here. Better than I've seen in uh, some recording studios. On tape, I can do anything they can do. Well, I'll bet you can. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you a chance to show your stuff. Can I get you anything, Mr. Kirby? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, do you have any gin? I, uh, think the girls have a bottle. Vermouth? No. Good, I'll take a martini. Mind playing something? Hey, what are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm making a cake. Move it, doll. It makes me very nervous when anybody watches me in my kitchen. Oh, hey, where's Toby? 
She went down to register, but she'll be right back. I took that on a portable. Let me put it on a pre-recorded stereo. What group is this? The astronauts. Say, they're all right. Well, they're up at the wheel. I taped them yesterday. Would you like to go up and hear them? I don't see why not. I'm off my diet. Well, this is mighty friendly of you folks. Oh, Mr. Kirby, uh, about the complaint. Oh, we've forgotten about that. I didn't know the situation here. We have to cancel it with the police. Don't worry about it, kitten. Don't give it another thought. As soon as I get home. Okay. You're getting me very nervous. Here, make yourself useful. Well, She goes home nights. I'd rather do it myself. Gee, I'm sorry this happened, Mr. Terwilliger. I didn't know you were bringing my permit out here. What permit? I'm rechecking the cages in this zoo. Do, do. 
Adam. That's the housing inspector. Get out of here. Miller! What do you think you're doing? Nothing, Mr. Terwilliger. Why don't you inspect the other rooms? One of the boys is changing. I've been ten years in boys' phys ed. You think you got something in there I ain't seen before? Just one of the boys, a freshman. They get smaller every semester. That isn't the astronaut. Well, maybe they closed last night. Can you get a decent martini in this place? Just coffee and beer. Oh, I'm trapped. Well, would you rather go back? Oh, I'm only kidding. Go on in. mind using them. You think you'll be going back into the recording business, Mr. Kirby? Uh, not as a manufacturer, kid. The only way is to put the artists on tape and then sell the tape to the highest bidder. With a little luck, you can still make a killing. Do you want to tape the astronauts? If I can find them. Why don't I ask the owner if he knows where they went? Will you do that for me, Jim? Sure. That's dancing? <laughs> well, do you mind if we do? No, go ahead. If you want to be alone. <laughs> train from Memphis rolled into sight down from the Pullman so sweet and so rare came one lovely woman with the long yellow hair and her hair hung down and I hung her down her back and my heart went tick a tick a tick a tack like Charlie Joe and Jimmy Jimmy Jack my heart went tick a tick a tick a tack a tick a tick a tack her blue eyes were smiling Bright as can be. I got the message 
when she looked at me. We met at the Cypress down by the creek. And that's why I'm weary. And that is why I'm weak. I could have loved her like brandy and wine. But I was the last one, the last one in line. Now I know a secret I'll pass on to you. A yellow-haired woman can never be true. Oh, well, when her hair hung down and I hung her down the back, and my heart went tick, 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 tack, like Charlie, Joe, and Jimmy, Jimmy, Jack, and my heart went tick, 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 tack. But I'm not unhappy. That's how it goes. Sometimes you find a rose in a rose. I'm here to tell you, I found out she lied. That the hair of that yellow-haired woman was dyed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And her hair hung down and I hung her down her back. And my heart went tick, a tick, a tick, a tack. Like Charlie, Joe, and Jimmy, Jimmy, Jack. My heart went tick, a tick, a tick, a tack. A tick, a tack. You are really good, Mr. Kirby. Correction, kitten. I'm great. And I've got a house full of unsold records to prove it. I asked uh, Doc about the astronauts. He gave me their address. Oh, thanks, Jim. Hey, this isn't far. You want to take a ride over? Sure. Why not? These are the only complaints involving students. Three. And quite enough, seeing that school doesn't even start for another week. Aha! Send Twilliger in here, on the double. Thank you, officer. Thank you very much. That's all right. Anything I can do? No, not a thing. See you next Thursday. What are you doing in that get-up? I had to take my clothes to the cleaners. Did you inspect that guest house at the beach? Yes, sir. And? It's like I said, only boys living there. Oh. Then how do you explain this? What? This complaint was issued yesterday. Disturbing the peace, wild parties. A Miss Lee Sullivan answered the door and told the officer that she was the owner of the house and apparently one of its occupants. I've been out there twice, Chief. Do you know who filed that complaint? Mr. Kirby, a new member of the faculty. Now, how would you like to explain that one at the next staff meeting? What are we gonna do? Now, first, we will have a little talk with Mr. Kirby. Come on. Anybody home? Must be out. A sterling addition to the faculty. Smells like rubbing alcohol. Too much vermouth. What are you doing? <coughs> I don't taste no vermouth. Put that away. Let's get out of here. Why don't we just go down and raid the kid's house? Well, what would that prove? 
There's no rule against girls having boys in or boys having girls in. No. We'll surprise them at the crack of dawn tomorrow. Commando style. And if they're all sleeping in there, we'll lower the boom. Now I'll clean all that up. You wait for me outside. Not very. I was with Mr. Kirby. What are you doing out here? Waiting for you, as a matter of fact. I was going to ask you to have dinner with me. Well, aren't you a little out of character? I'm showing my better side. Besides, there's nothing left to eat in the kitchen. What do you say? You're sweeping me off my feet. <laughs> I'll take you down to the beach to look at the sunset. I knew there was a catch. Especially for me They told me she would be here And to wait if I were wise I'd know her at a single glance If I looked in her eyes God's love have found you And sent you straight Like they said you'd be How nice that they are friends of mine We work hand in glove Now every day I live I'll say Thanks to the gods of Like they said you'd be How nice that they are friends of mine And we work hand in glove Now every day I live I'll say Thanks to the gods of love I wanted to kiss you good night. You know, as much as I hate to admit it, I really had a lovely evening. Likewise. Um, I think we'd better go in now. All right, but don't turn the light on. You'll wake my team. Who are all these 
these kids. Quiet. Turn that off. Where did all those extra boys come from? What do you think you're doing? They had no place to stay. What else could I do? I could tell you, but it'd be wasting my time. Now I know why you wanted me out of the house. That's not true. Why lie about it? All right, it is true. When these girls... Girls? What girls? Well, there are some girls staying in the bedrooms. Well, they're about to wake up. Oh, don't make a federal case out of it. But you can bunk with Toby and Marcy for one night. Why should I? They won't be here long. You know it. Ooh, that really does it. Now, hear this. The Iron Curtain has... Why did you let that louse bring those kids in here? We couldn't help it. They didn't have anywhere to go. One more trick like this and that'll go for all of us. Oh, if only he hadn't gotten that permit. Well, it's only temporary. Yeah, but they're already here. What can we do? She means the permit. Vern told me. Well, what are we talking about? The permit. Vern says it's only temporary. Adam can't get the permit one till tomorrow. What if I got there first? I own the house. They'd have to give it to me. Not if Adam beat you to it. He won't. If you help me, we'll have this house to ourselves by tomorrow night. Come on, girls, wake up. It's time mm. to get up. Mm. Why don't we call the whole thing off? Not a chance. This is kind of a dirty trick to play on those kids. It's them or us. Yeah. Hey, can you sit me up? Let me out of here. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. 
Let me out of here. Do you know who you just chased out of here? It had to be the dean. I never forget a voice. Shut up, Miller. Now listen to me. The permit for off-campus housing is revoked. But that's not fair. I own that house. The university is not taking the house away from you, Miss Sullivan. It's merely placing it off limits to students. Is that clear? Well, Mr. Parker, it's my fault. Miller, I told you to shut up. Now, there'll be no more discussion. As of now, you're all suspended from the university. On Monday, I'll place your cases before the board, recommending expulsion for all of you. I'm sure the board will see it my way. That's all. Dismissed. <laughs> down to the infirmary. A little alcohol will open those eyes. Yes? I didn't call the Air Force operator. Oh, they did. Very well, put them on. I don't suppose it does much good to say I'm sorry. It was just as much my fault as it was yours. What are you gonna do now? Sell the house? Oh, no. No, I couldn't do that. And in walked the mighty chef. Well, this is a happy little group. I thought you'd be all steamed up over the session Monday. What session are you talking about? We're recording Monday. I'm sorry, Mr. Kirby. If I'm going to get into a new school, I'll have to be long gone by Monday. Well, what's this? What's happened? We were raided last night. We're being expelled on Monday. Who raided you? Dean Parker. What for? For having boys and girls living in the same house. Oh. Now, wait a minute. School hasn't started yet. Let me talk to Parker. It won't do any good, Mr. Kirby. Oh, honey, you've never seen me pitch. Now, everybody just stay right here. When I see Parker... Dean Parker? Second Lieutenant Parker. I didn't know you were in the Air Force. I was in the reserves. Those chickens... They pulled me back in so they could bust me from Colonel. I wanted to talk to you about the house Miss Sullivan owns, Lieutenant. Uh, Dean, I'm sorry. Well, that's out of my jurisdiction. We've got to do something about it. Oh, well then, speak to Twilliger. It's up to him. Frankly, I don't care what you do. Would you send Mr. Twilliger in here, please? Ah, Mr. Terwilliger, good of you to come. I've been discussing the Sullivan case with the dean. He's placed the entire matter in your hands. He had a lot of good things to say about you, Mr. Terwilliger. The dean felt that perhaps he'd been too harsh with the young people. I explained that I was opening my place to the boys in view of the housing shortage. Now, the situation at the Sullivan house is purely temporary. So the dean suggested that we tear up the charges. Now, if you'll just make out a permit for Miss Lee Sullivan and one for my place, Mr. Shepard Kirby, I'll take them with me. Oh, better yet, we're having a recording session at my place Monday. Why don't you come over as our guest and bring the permits with you? Are you sure he's going to be on time? Don't worry about it, kitten. To Williger's on his way. Ready, Vern? Ready here. Ready, girls? Yes. Toby and Marcy, take one. Beautiful girl. 
Now.